Quadrophenia and Mr. Ray Winston, who was uh, very, very funny in it, along with the casting director and Bill Kerbishley, who is the manager of The Who, who has never really talked about Quadrophenia and he's given a few kind of eye-opening exclusives to us. It's, it was kind of funny, when it, I'll talk a little bit about Quadrophenia before we talk about being, it, it came out and it was kind of a slow burner, it came out, it was, it was very well received by certain, uh, you know, factions of the press, including what, what then was the music press, which is the new music would express, Melody Maker and Smash Hits, who kind of recognised it for what it was. Um, and then it kind of faded away and then, the mod that was in the August of '78. It came out '79. The sort of mod revival started for for real, and I think it started. It was always popular up north, and it's like you know this anyway, all your mods, you know. It's the, you know Bridge House in Canning Town, and um, it was a, 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 the, the two tone thing started happening for you know for in Coventry, and uh, it was it was just lots of we touch on it in 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 the documentary. It was serendipitous. Everything sort of came together. You know, and uh, it kind of took off, but the film came out and it was accepted, and then it kind of faded away. It was only when it came out on VHS that it started to gain popularity. And I've never known a time when the film wasn't as popular as it is now, which is 40 years later. You know, so it was um, overshadowed. No, I'm very, very proud of it. But as I said, I mean, I, <laughs> I was completely raw in it. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, a bit like Josh on his first day. I think I showed Josh some pictures on his first day yeah. of my first day of filming, which is the first, which is the cafe scene in Quadrophenia. You know, um, no, just you know, it's just no, it's, it's there, isn't it? There's nothing I can do about it, and it's um, it's a fantastic thing. And you told me previously that um, over the years, people have come up to you and said, you know. Your film has changed my life. Um, <laughs> yeah. car and there's a, there's a great so one. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> when you were, Sorry about that, Mike. When you were doing Rent once, uh, I believe you said that uh, there was people waiting outside. Yeah, I was, doing, I was doing a play called Chips With Everything, which is a 1950s National Service play by on Wesker. And I was out on the stage door having a fag, and this group of mods, it was about 1981, this group of mods came past and screeched to a halt. <laughs> And this bloke got off a scooter and he ran towards me and he had a pork pie hat. He got his pork pie out, his white chinos in his and he went, I've based my life on you! I've <laughs> <laughs> based my life on you, is what he said like that. I said, sorry mate. It's kind of, I mean, it's 1950s Air Force uniform. You know? I mean, over, over the years, obviously, there's been talk of quadrophenia remakes and sequels and whatnot, but what was it about being attracted to uh, you? Well, I was... Devlin sent me the script, he sent me a hard copy, and that never happens these days because everybody sends you emails, you know, and uh, it arrived. I was doing those doing pantomime at the time. <laughs> oh, yes, I was. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I've given that up, it's all behind me now. <laughs> oh, come on, you should know I gave up the booze years ago. All of that. I loved it, you know, so I like a bit of pantomime, it's great fun. And um, I was in Kettering, and it arrived, it arrived at the stage door, and I read it. And it made me smile. It was just a charming little film. And I thought, what a lovely thing to do. What a great thing to sort of be part of. And, uh, and I accepted. Poor old Devlin. <laughs> he didn't know what he had it on his hands. <laughs> so it was, just, <laughs> it was just a charming film. And again, I will underline, it was an extraordinary thing. I mean, Devlin funded it solely through, um, through crowdfunding. Oh, what, was, what was the site? Uh, it's Kickstarter. Kickstarter. So, I mean, that film, that little film, cost £20,000 to make. And it was the mod community and donations that made it possible. So it was people like you that did it. And, you know, I think the outs one of the outstanding, the scenes of the mods on Brighton Seafront, and we were so lucky we had the weather that day, didn't we? You know? We did, we did have incredible weather. And it was, didn't it look fantastic? You know, and, it, and the, thing, the thing that always gets me about about the mod scene is when I smell the two stroke scooters that's that just that just fires so many memories, you know. Don't get that on the triumph. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get it on the triumph. No. Um so there, you know. 